my own show, I have a responsibility to say things that people need to know that aren't being said. It's a cool opportunity that I don't take lightly. There are very big, obvious truths that no one wants to say on TV, but I will. So I can't believe I have to say this, but you matter. Even though Florida passed the Don't Say Gay Bill, that prohibits teachers from talking about gay people in their classrooms, you matter. Children who are gay shouldn't sit in school wondering if there are other people like them. They shouldn't be made to feel like there is something wrong with them. And kids with two moms or two dads shouldn't be made to feel like there is something wrong with their family. There is nothing wrong with being gay. And cutting off an entire part of our community will hurt us all in the long run. Now, they can stop us from saying gay. They can try to put all the restrictions on you they want. They can try to get people to be scared of you or grossed out by you, and I'm sorry. But it doesn't change the fact that you matter. And another thing, I can't believe I have to say this, but stop selling luggage at the airport. If I'm at the airport, I already have luggage. You think I just showed up with some loose t-shirts and $100? You think I'm walking around with two handfuls of socks? Like, where can I put these? Where can I put these? Shut down that luggage store at the airport and replace it with a store that sells something useful, like vodka. And, uh, and I can't believe I have to say this, but it is wrong for there to be hundreds of new anti-trans bills being introduced across America this year. It is not okay to make trans children feel unsafe. They deserve our protection, but it's a lot easier to get people to vote Republican by making up problems like immigrants are taking our jobs or black people are gonna come get you. And I'm so sorry that our trans community has become the latest boogeyman. You deserve better and you matter. Also, I can't believe I have to say this, but don't play music out loud on public transportation. <laughs> I get that you can't wait till you get home to listen to Thong Song by Cisco. <laughs> I get it the most. But that doesn't mean we all want to be magically transported to 1999 with you. Either buy headphones or sit in silence and question your life choices like a normal person. <laughs> if you think it's fine to make us all listen to your personal DJ session, you're wrong, we're wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> I can't believe I have to say this, but think pieces about whether we should teach school children about queer people or gender identity are not okay. Who you are should never be up for debate. The only thing those think pieces make me think is that the person who wrote them is a bigot. And finally, I can't believe I have to say this, but Crocs are ugly. <laughs> they look like colanders for your feet. They look like two little buckets that lost a fight with a hole punch. I, I cannot believe someone tricked y'all into wearing them. People are like, nurses wear them because they're comfortable. Well, I think nurses deserve better. I didn't bang on pots and pans every night for nurses to have wet socks. That's not right. Now, I thought people were wearing them because they cost a dollar, but do you know they cost more than a dollar? These cost $35. These cost $54.99, and these cost $625. Man, for $625, you can wear no shoes, hop on my back, and I'll take you wherever you want to go. So, there you go. The Don't Say Gay Bill is trash. Luggage should not be sold at the airport. You deserve to feel safe. Get headphones. We can see through your hateful articles, cracks, and most of all, and I can't stress this enough, you matter.